winning the game alone, and Mom was like, I will play AP Tristana. <laughs> Wait, Dream tried to do that with me. I was duo queuing with him, and he went mid AP Shistana and, and then fed and stole all my ELO. So, uh, <laughs> not so convinced of that one myself. But uh, oh, Interesting with Blanc pick. Yeah. So, extinct feeling that uh, to counter, uh, counter Moma's TF, he's going to just blow him up. Which, I mean, we've said time and time again, LeBlanc, really, really strong early game. Great against the likes of Carthus. TF, I mean, we'll wait and see. We'll have to see how it works out. But um, the only other person I've really seen that loves to run a Blanc is Reginald. Yep. And, I mean, that works because TSM have really good team comps fitted around it. Obviously, the rest of the team do a lot of damage in the late game while LeBlanc falls off, basically. Yeah. All she can do is blow things up. She's like Scion. Come the late game, once you've done that burst, then what? Well, so but, far, uh, it looks like uh, AL's going through the tanky team and looking for LeBlanc to pick off one person prior to the team fight starting and then sustaining throughout the team fight. It looks like they're trying to do it just now. I have to see what these next two picks are because Corky Tarek, one second. Here's me thinking I'm going to sneeze, but never mind. <laughs> Corky Tarek, so the owner didn't seem to go too bad for him in that bottom lane. I'm not entirely sure yeah. they haven't grabbed her this time. Maybe they want that solid yeah. stun on uh, LeBlanc, you know? Don't want to risk yeah, messing up with Leona, just a solid stun, just to catch her out. And Alistair Jungle, I think. Yeah, it's going to be an Alistair Jungle. Or right, it could, so it could be Lane Alistair, sorry. It could be Lane Alistair. could be Lane Alistair. We've seen um, Maluno jungle Shen earlier in the tournament, so yeah. that might be something else there. One thing with uh, Moma's TF, he tends to go Catalyst first, which is going to be pretty good against LeBlanc having that extra health. Some TFs generally go squishy, like they go double yeah. Dorns and then into the Rabadons or something. But Maluno, uh, Momo, sorry, does prefer that tanky. Oh. Wow. We saw Angus run Poppy top yep. in the show match right at the start of the weekend. At and which he point he carried, it it carried hard, yep. very, very hard. But that wasn't quite against the same setup as here. So, interesting to see. But it certainly supports the theory, of course. LeBlanc, very strong early game, blows people up. Keeps those fights going. Okay, in the late game, she can do what damage she can, but... That's the late game. That's when Poppy shines. So yep. you don't need LeBlanc to do the damage at that point. You've got Poppy doing it all for you. So actually a very, very nice team come from AO. And as you say, the rest of them just very, very tanky, keeping the fight going long enough for possibly another burst from LeBlanc. So, uh, so what absolutely I just like to do here is dominate mid lane, get a couple of early kills on LeBlanc, and then draw the game out. Even if the, the game does draw out, Poppy becomes the hyper carry that's going to hopefully win them the game. Yeah. A Renekton. So looks like Soaz is wanting to shut down that poppy early. Does not want to give that poppy any free farm whatsoever. And picking the most aggressive, one of the most aggressive top laners you can get is Renekton. Yeah, I mean we saw Wicked playing it earlier on, just keeping Angus right back under yeah. that tower, constantly dashing in, life stealing, dashing out again, always under that tower. And uh, it is going to be Jungle Shen from Maluna, then Extinct in mid with the Blanc, Slipper and Zinuk in a very very scary bottom lane combo. But Tarek Corky equally as. Uh, Fearsome, I think you'll find the word. Ooh. No, it's just a very late swap. I was about to say, hang on, Momo running Tarek, but uh, <laughs> there's no way support TF is going out there, so that'll switch through in a minute or two. There is Momo still discussing a couple of strategies with his team. I Has think he's just deciding what, what uh, Lynette's going to run this game. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Mobility boot Shivana, maybe just max the W and run around, the, run around or something? I don't know. It's possible. It's about 600 movement speed, isn't it, when you yep. pop that W? Absolutely ridiculous speed. Shavana has no scaling AP abilities, so there's no chance at all. No, there's a chance. It's Linux. There's still a chance we'll see a Death by yep. Grass, which won't have quite the same effect as Elliot. And their last second switch into Exhaust and Smite. So there's your final rundown. Certainly, if we were setting up to be a very exciting game from AL's point of view, against the Authority, it's a bit more of a standard setup. Renekton's not someone you see all the time, but uh, certainly more of a generic champion picks. I, I do like the thought, pro uh, thought process behind Absolute Legends picks. It does make a lot of sense, having LeBlanc dominate that early game, or got what should win his lane, and uh, having the split push capability of Shen coming to late game, and then the hyper carry of Poppy. And Rated's reasoning behind taking Tarek is that he's too tired to use <laughs> four <laughs> buttons on Leona, so he's just going to do Tarek and use two. Nice. It was all, uh, do you remember that War Mogs team <laughs> from earlier? Team, yeah, <laughs> in the show match. Who kept getting focused down. Oh, that reason. was uh, 
That was certainly fun. I didn't even know, literally, as they were killing the Nexus and shouting Yordle power, then I realised that, team oh Yordle. wait, it's a whole Yordle team. But uh, never mind. So guys, two minute delay left in this game. This is possibly the final game. Depends how this works out. AL are one nil down at the moment and against all authority playing very, very well. Moma still next door. We will be back very, very shortly with the conclusion to this game. 2,500 euros on the line. It's going to be very, very exciting. Do stay tuned. Okay, guys, we are back in the loading screen. Absolute Legend versus Against All Authority. Game two of this best of three final. It is 20 to 2 in the morning. And it's going to be a long day. Didn't think 14 hours when it came to it. I'm just going to stay up the rest. I've got five hours to my flight, so may as well just stay up. Might as well. There's plenty more whiskey out in the kitchen, that's for sure. And maybe another trip to McDonald's. Well, there's still some bubble tea down here, actually. I'm surprised you didn't finish that. I went out of my way to get that for you, and you didn't, you didn't even try it. I tried it. I tried it sitting here on camera. I think it, it tastes you. like a frappuccino. A yeah, bit. it wasn't a bad taste. It I was actually got it for weird, free. But no. <laughs> as, as a little uh, Asian girl in the bubble tea thing, she, she like misunderstood me and gave me the wrong thing, so I got a free bubble tea for it. Ah, fair enough, then. Scottish accent comes in handy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, once again, in case you didn't spot it before, Absolute Legends running what well, seems to be a quite unorthodox lineup, but it makes sense if you look at it, providing they can pull it off. It will work very, very nicely for them. All depends on how Against All Authority are going to come up against it. Poppy Hyper Carry with a pretty cool new skin, I must admit. On, on paper, AA has like the, the kind of more traditional lineup, but if you th the thought progress behind AL is really quite nice. If it does work, I'd be really happy. Uh, yeah, it'll be something very yeah. fun to watch. But, um, I'd love to see Poppy destroying everyone late game. It's always fun to see that. <laughs> it's always fun. Just, I mean, Angus picking up that ghost. Ghost and that W jumping all over the map, running left, right, and centre. I mean, I've seen a couple of them try with mobility boots as well, getting across, <laughs> but uh, not the. Why uh, you pick the mic? Now I need to focus. <laughs> <laughs> Very good point. So, Angus did spot this AAA group up there. We're looking for some form of invade, but. Uh, not quite going to do that as now they've been spotted. So they're sitting there defending this jungle. Zinnick support Alistair. Not something we've seen him run all weekend. That's the first time he hasn't or hasn't picked that Soraka, as far as I can remember. But the state my head is in at the moment. My memory's not to be trusted. 30 seconds until minions spawn. One thing we do, do notice that uh, Lanak did pick up that exhaust. So he has no flash before level 6. There's no way of escaping if he does counter jungle. And a blank is one of the scariest people to counter jungle against. She That's has that burst point. damage. Like, I, my, I myself, I'm terrified of a blank when I go counter jungling. I mean, it's not just the burst damage, the fact that she can get over the walls and things yep. as well gives her that more mobility. Same with something like Ari as well. Ari can cover that distance so fast and get yeah. in your face. Yeah, exactly. So we'll have to see how Linux tries to run it. I mean, without being too harsh to Linux, part of me thinks he's going to try it anyway, screw up and hand the game to AL. Just because of death by a grasp Udia, he certainly seems to be having all kinds of fun more than he is actually trying to wait to win but we'll see he was only playing the Udia that way because they were so far ahead in their last game yep. I suspect this one will start off more serious and uh, I also suspect a very early gank onto Poppy once he gets this red buff because you said we need to shut him down early you cannot let uh, Angus get that farm going and get to his late game carry mode I wonder if we'll see an early gank from Shen if he picked what skill does he level up next? Let's see, he's gone W. Okay, so we know he won't see an early gank. I imagine he might just go to his blue buff now. Anyway. Yeah, and then the early gank, in fact, from in rated coming out onto mid. Moma and Stink him. having to flash. Moma could be in trouble here, though. Very oh, nice timing no for Milino. Okay. Yeah, he could be. But uh, yeah, nice timing for Milino. Actually, was going across this lane as that gank started, so just completely changed path and uh, scared Moma back again. But. Uh, and rated that whole time did however give oh, the uh, AL guys here. a chance to initiate on oh, Yellow Star force to pop summon a heal Slepper going very low flashing away Slepper wants to chase oh, it down he's taking one tower Slepper. damage oh, he's very very low and he will die to Enrated stun. stun wow Slepper Slepper getting too far too greedy there exactly far far too greedy I mean he would have got it if those health potions weren't ticking but this kind of level of plate people don't forget to use health potions I do all the time I'll finish a fight and go, gah, so low. Oh, I've got four health potions. Why I have to say props <laughs> to Yellowstar there. Like, the timing on that flash was pretty much perfect. He waited just long enough, didn't use it too early, and then baited Slipper into the... Into the tower, yeah. And uh, 
Linux and uh, Soaz have just come and stolen this blue buff from Shen. They obviously knew where he was after they saw him ganking mid. He stayed and even held the lane for a while. So they took that as, fine, we'll go take your blue buff. I mean, the original route we've seen with Luna try, we've seen it a couple of times. He does raid, he does raid, he does blue. Then he gets top at level three. One, one spell in every ability. Yep. And it works. Now he can't do well, that. Instead, he's looking mid for mid. Now. Yeah, But there is but a ward on him. Staying right on that ward. <laughs> and what you should do, though, you see Momo's heading off now to pick up blue. I guess that's okay. But traditionally, if you see someone on a ward, you should try and waste their time. Try and hold them there. The longer yeah. you keep them there, the bit more benefit you get out of it. And in fairness, even though he's gone to get blue buff, Maluna is not going in it. He will have just seen that ward die because yeah. they do become visible when they time out. So he knows he was standing on it for a while. Going to see if he does know that Momo has no flash. So if he lands a taunt, he should be able to burst him down. And yep. it is going to be the start. There's the flash. There's Extinct coming in. Momo getting low. The exhaust yeah, is out. There's the snare. In. That was very well played. Very nice. Very patient up. by Maluna. Knew, knew that he had no flash. So it was a, pretty much a guaranteed kill. And Extinct picking up that blue buff that he did just miss out on. Uh, yeah. Shivana stole it. And exactly as you say, they're looking to get these early kills on LeBlanc, get her to carry through this early game, scare AL down, and of course, stop any invades coming out of Linux, and then Bobby oh. can do it late. However, Exhaust going down, down very, reason, very low. And in fact, Alistair was very low down bottom as well. Slepper not doing his greatest job protecting Slepper's his carry. Out of mana. So I think Triple H just have to push this down now, and Slepper's going to mess out on a lot of CS. Yeah, how's Angus doing then? Permanently under his tower, 21 CS. Soaz is on 28, and uh, they can't take you another tower. Oh, I would have loved to see a beautiful stun there by Anguish into the tower. As yeah. gonna, that would have been nice. That would have been an amazing play. But I don't think he's awake enough to do that. You saw the speed these guys started this game. No one wants to hang around. Shen ganking down Enemy on the bottom, and Rated's going low. He's got no mana and no flash, but Slepper's very low as well, and Yellowstar doing what he can to get Malone's the damage in on there. Just now. He's taking Yellow's a lot of creeps, but... Gets uh, the off. Oh, wow. Wow, phosphorus bomb. He is maxing that up. It's only level two, but it's still enough damage to finish off Slepper. Ail's bottom lane then really not having any kind of fun. And they so are already 5K. 1,500 gold behind, yeah. As a next turn, in fact, coming down to gank this mid lane. And the Extinct is very much pushed. So as dicing in, and that we'll get that snare off. Extinct just up over the wall. Maluna did pick up and rated. He did stay that little bit too long or get a little bit too close to this bush trying to drop a ward in Maluno was waiting so, Angus has a little bit of free farm time 33 CS to 35 swinging that little hammer <laughs> he looks so silly doesn't he <laughs> that's um Nice big wave of minions for Soas. Poppy needs to get these back under the tower so Soas has to work for them. Otherwise, he's just going to stand in the middle of there, cull the meek, yep. and uh, pick them all up and go miles ahead. Actually, like pretty good for Anguish that he's managing to equal farm against a Renekton because I felt like Renekton was that early pick against Poppy to try and shut Poppy down. And Anguish doing a pretty good job this game. The neck is up here. There's no ward. Someone going very low mid. It is Moma, but Extinct's being ganked as well. We're going to look at top. Angus is safe. Extinct is very oh. low, flashing away, but the ignite was still ticking. And uh, Moma gets his blue buff back. Yep. Enrage has a lot of love for mid lane right now. Pure Extinct. <laughs> Moma actually taking a lot of damage from minions there, and uh, very nearly went down. But uh, very well played from Enrage. They know they cannot let LeBlanc get farmed. So they've had ganks coming from top. They've had ganks from Linux, and now Enrated on his second appearance in that mid lane. Really making Extinct's life hard. As uh, someone goes down, like it's Yellow Star. I Slipper. thought it was a dive on top and a very nice dive. Slepper falling again. And Rated was uh, taking Enrage tower is for a while. Job but uh, so much map presence right now. Yeah, Gang all over the place. place. We saw in the last game he picked up mobility boots in the Tarek. Possibilities to tie it again, do you think? Or. Uh, do you think his roaming is going to be more or less I think finished? I, I would probably see Mertrez coming out on this team. Probably a, lot, a bit later on, but uh, I would see Mertrez. It makes sense against this team. It does indeed. Poppy has gone back then. So Sarah's so up to 61 CS. Poppy on 50, finishing that Philo Stone. Going to make his way back to lane as soon as he's bought that extra health potion and ward. Yellowstar needs to be very careful. Maluna's here in the bush. He doesn't he have any mana. buff as well. Oh, Ooh, misses the taunt. Very, very nicely done. For Yellowstar wow. and a nice flash away. Valkyrie, he doesn't have the mana for it just yet. Yeah, Did it coming, coming down, to teleport. Very safe teleport, nice one from Moma. Yep. Not getting too keen. That was pretty nice by Moma. I mean, some mid players would just say, I'll see you later. Yeah, I don't care exactly. about you, I'm going to farm mid. 
when we just came in there to play defensive. Remember, soldiers, well, I've borrowed your support for two ganks now, so <laughs> I'll come and keep you alive. <laughs> and then, of course, he walked back up on his way past to pick up a blue buff with the help of N-rated. N-rated coming in again. Has been spotted, though, by that ward. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alistair's coming okay. in now as well, just to face check against Derek. Yeah, and uh, look, oh, actually, he knows. N-rated going low. That stun will oh, off. There's the ignite. Moment will be the next oh, target. Poppy's okay, actually coming down from oh, top. Ghost and W. Here. There's the ult going off. Not going to take any tower damage. Moma, very the nice flash actually getting him towards safety with that dash from Angus. So, uh, nicely played there. Everyone's but there is a Renexin oh. coming down from top. Angus needs to be careful. Angus He's very low on mana. His ghost is down as well. Yeah, he ghosted to get to mid lane. Shen I think going to drop before it goes off. He just won't. goes off Why? does die. Yeah, and uh, Maluna cannot talk in time to save him. Linnet going in now. They're going to take this blue buff. Nothing AL can do to stop it. Meanwhile, bot lane, Ergot and Cork are just having a standoff. Which normally I'd give that to Ergot. He can uh, solo a little bit better. But now the two levels behind yeah, him. Yellow stars two levels above. Slepper's got so little in comparison. There is no ch uh, no chance at all. Actually, zero three Ergot is pretty bad. Yeah. No, that's that's hard. I mean, Orgot should normally win his lane. He's definitely not winning his lane at the moment. No, and we've seen some big things from Slepper. We've seen him destroy. I mean, your bottom lane. That's the whole reason you said yep. you lost that second game to them. He was 50 CS above Yellow Peep more or less all the time. But uh, this time round, just can't quite pull it out of the bag. It does have a six now, so it might be interesting to see if LeBlanc goes for a gank. Very possible, but uh, not Slepper's while Slepper's going down like this. They may dive it again. Yellow oh. Oh, swapping him under the tower. He will Just get a very nice pulverize. Oh. Yellow Star may drop down here. And Rated nope. picking the kill up. And Rated will fall down to the yeah. tower. Yellow Star will survive. Alistair picking the kill up. So Ergon even getting the gold for that. And uh, LeBlanc. There's a good chain CC there. I mean, they did follow up with the swap and then the pulverize by Alistair, but just wasn't enough. Yeah. That's something he'll keeping Yellow Star up. And of course, Phage up on Yellowstar, making him very, very tanky for these early levels. Angus gonna have to do his best. He will still be able to hyper carry this through in late games. Only 2,000 gold for now. You do see him building that uh, Feel of Stone, so he is dragging it out. He is looking for the late game. This is actually so far the very same build he was doing in the, the show match for fun. So, yep. some element to practice in that. And uh, it worked out there. He farmed up all game long, came back and carried his way through. Up to 71 CS so now. GP5, of course, is ticking as well. As we see Lynette going on to this dragon right now. Renekton is top. Poppy is heading towards top, so it looks like this might want contested. Although Alistair's poking down around it, but TF and... They have no vision on this drake right now. No, they don't know it's going on. They suspect it, but there's not really much they can do. It's going to die now. Yeah, very nicely done from Linux soloing that down. And uh, we'll pick that up with a nice smite. Notice yeah, how the is creeping to 3,000 now. Yeah, notice how we uh, comboed that with Enrated's uh, Shatter, I believe it is. Yeah, the Shatter. Obviously, a lot of junglers, of course, you want to get that smite damage in. You can buy it with like Lee Sin's Q, um, Alistair if he's jungling, he's pulverized. Just to get that extra damage, making it like drop down very, very quickly. Hard for your opponents to smite it. Yeah. Doesn't have to be your own abilities, as we just saw. And Rated helping him out, getting that shatter in at the last moment as well. So it was a big, massive chunk of health lost, just in case Maluno was there trying to do something. So, so far it looks like Anguish is going to be the only hope for AL to pull back into this game. Yeah, I mean, Extinct is 2-1, and one, but... Uh, when Slepper is 0 and 4, he needs a little bit more, and uh, Moma's just gone back, but Linak is here, extinct's a little bit overextended. Flash. Yeah, it's just going to fall back. I don't think he'll force a flash, he's still got his W up, which should be enough, and uh, there's, well, there is ultimate up on Linak at the moment, but uh, we'll wait and see. Does have exhaust as well, so we could see something with TF. No, it looks like they're just going to head back to lanes and farm. Against the authority, no, they're ahead. They're not going to do anything on too silly. May see a swap here, and then try and fight him under the turret. Could be a possibility. And it didn't quite work out last time, but Slepper's been back and bought since then. Got a lot of armor, and that's uh, suddenly going to be a little bit more tanky. Elixir being bought up by LeBlanc, looking to secure some kills. No jungle invades from Linux so far, apart from secure easy ones at blue buff with Soaz, as you mentioned. 
and that even then they'd already killed LeBlanc in the river. Again, if you look at um, Momo's item build, picking up that catalyst, picking up those merc threads, got the Doran's ring for the extra health, uh, it can't be busted down by LeBlanc. No, I and mean, we've seen her try it, which Momo came off worse, but uh, it was still not bursted down. They're going to go on to N rated down the bottom. But uh, Yellowstar now switch yeah, target, in. TF teleporting in from blue. Stun goes here. out onto Zinnick, he's already used his ultimate, he can't cancel Zinnick that. Zinnick. Nope, Yellowstar's going to pick the kill. Gonna finish it. Swap went out and rated will fall down to the tower. Ultimate came out from Maluno, did get a nice taunt Yellow off Star onto Moba. But bad flash. And he, uh, he misses. misses. Yellowstar, got to be careful, oh, he will fall down to kill. extinct. How's and all this while Maluno's been chasing Moma. But uh, he went the right direction, got away from that. So as taking top tower. Angush now going to have a little water free farm all the way up here. He's now 30 CS, 40 CS even behind. And uh, so is doing a very good job of slowing down that poppy farm. Gold advantage now, just under 4k for against all authorities. Did pick up that dragon, now just picked up a tower. So they do have the global gold advantage as well as their carries having some good, good farm and good kills. Stink coming in here to pick up the kill on Soaz. Soaz is going to drop down. That was a ridiculous yeah. burst damage. Soaz is all. Stink could be in trouble here though. Does it exhaust and Giovanni does? It does. Angus is going to do what he can, but Angus used most of his ability. Slepper is here. He doesn't have Swap. Slepper's He's not going to have to get Linnikoff. He will pick that kill up. Oh, he does kill. grab Poppy as well, but uh, he needs to be careful of this taunt from Meluna. He's got that move He's going to make it out of here. here. And yeah, if he doesn't, Moma's here to help him with a stun as well. Meluna's actually catching him. He oh, does. The W Ooh. just goes off in time. Just missed that taunt. Very, very close indeed. So well played, Linak. Very nice double kill pickup. And you notice how Soez, I mean, he was expecting LeBron to get strong. He's got Merc Treads, he's got another Magic Metal, but he still got completely destroyed yeah. when Extinct got close. That is what they needed him to do. Just picked up a Hex Drinker as well. <laughs> and you see, Hex Drinker is what the uh, new AD Caster item is being built out of. Hex Drinker plus a pickaxe will give you obviously the Hex Drinker passive and um, you know how Mundo's E works, yeah. gains a day AD from health missing, you'll get that as a unique passive on this new item as well. Interesting. So uh, we'll see quite how it works in combo with a uh, Mundo. I mean we saw AL run Mundo against you, he was up to about 300 AD in that yeah, last point. Silly. Yeah, and he wasn't even missing that much health, so stacked on top of that thing might be a bit broken. We'll have to see what Riot play with, but patches are on Tuesday, we've got a while yet. So, back to this game. 7,000 gold up now for Against the Authority. Dragon respawning somewhere in the next two minutes. Extinct may have DC'd. And uh, I have a feeling... No, I just felt like tanking creeps. <laughs> yeah. Check those out. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Purely <laughs> changing to see what they do. So, AL, even though they're on the back foot, having fun here. These guys are good heart. And uh, props to AAA for... Uh, not even testing the waters. Oh, Yellowstar in trouble. You're going to head by the under tower. Very nice there. As Extinct wow. actually gets blown up by Soaz Zinnick. Also very, very low. Maluna's Yellowstar did well. fall down. Maluno will die on Slipper's this tower. Slipper's arriving. Needs to get a good swap out if he can. Here comes Poppy. Poppy doing what she can. Like so as ultimate though. Yeah, and Moma's just arrived as well. There's Angus with his old pop. Slepper going to fall down. That was a bit of a bug. Yep. Not he, sure uh, what happened there. He yeah, he started his ult. And then as he died, the swap still went out anyway, even though it didn't have full channel time. But uh, neither mind. The point is, AL just got aced. Yep. And again, sort of throws the gold advantage now, over 9,000 at uh, 17 minutes. We did see someone do this the other day, actually. I believe it was in the 4PL. And it may have been a, uh, against all authority at that point. But yeah, a 17 minute win is not unheard of. But I don't think we'll see a GG out of AL. There's, there's chat going on, I can hear it going in, but I'm not going to open it up as it'll be a bit of spam. There's the dragon respawn against all authority. Going to want that to grab themselves an even more of a gold lead. And the players are certainly having fun despite it being so late. But uh, AL are certainly going to have to produce something really, really special if they want to turn this game around. Angus fast finds Soaz, wants to do what damage he can to <laughs> Swings his hammer, then runs away. <laughs> Ever so strong. Moma teleporting bomb, they're gonna gank onto Slepper the stun. Actually stack, not Shen the best way you want to do that. Shen ult will fall out. Slepper is going, ignites ticking, 
and he will survive that Besaris is coming in the back again being chased by Angus that slice and dice actually cancels out Angus's charge Angus is not very tanky right now he's only got the sheen up yep. as part of his Trinity force sadly not getting to see that hybrid carry that we wanted to see from Poppy no not anytime soon that's for sure only just hit 100 CS Renex on 160 so is playing that very very well Taunt missing by inches very well played yellow start but that will be a free tower for against the authority. Linak has not even been down to this lane. He's been pushing top the whole time. Yep. AL still haven't picked up a tower yet. There are five towers down now. What, two dragons? Two dragons, five towers. That global gold really stacking up now. And it's a 11k advantage. And eight. Oh, <laughs> oh, nice oh, flash oh, by moment moment facing there. the head pulverized. And uh, so as he's being chased down by four members, I yell, oh, flash, flash taunt, flash Maluno, really, he's messed the third one, he's messed up. I mean, a couple of them have been good dodges from AAA, but he has missed blatant ones like that. That moment is definitely in trouble when that switch goes out, there's no way he's getting out there. Five man AL waiting on him. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lenak, <laughs> yes. at top. Does he have any ability power in this build? No, no he is yet. going BF sword. BF <laughs> <laughs> Not one of the most common items on Shivana. No, oh, it's 1400 ELO on this account. It might explain it. Ah. Uh, that changes the mindset, that does. That's true. <laughs> He's suddenly enjoying himself. 11,000 gold now up for against the authority. Does Slebra have swap now that he doesn't just use it against Just Moma. use it on Moma and Maluna going very low. Linux wow. takes him down 1v1. Despite the new Shen being as strong as everyone thinks, he still has to get the farm, and he just didn't. Someone else going very, very low somewhere. It was Soaz, so actually. Wow. Soaz thinks it's low. Yells are going to pick up the kill. Slepper could be in trouble here. Tarik's coming in to help trouble. Yellow. Slepper's yeah, not Slepper getting out of there alive. Didn't even try and run away. Very nice pick up from Yellow Star. Moment just teleporting up just to speed this push up. And uh, they will finish the rest of the tower off. Here. Two inhibitors, actually. Yeah, then they're getting top as well. I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen a GG coming out soon. Yeah, and none of these players really want to drag it out. They're all very, very tired. We've had that before. 15,000 gold advantage now in favour of AAA. Yeah, absolutely huge. I mean, Enerate's whole reason for playing Tarek was it was less buttons to push than the Oh, own. another flash. Uh, another taunt by Maluno missed. Yeah, he's Tarek just really flashing feeling again. And uh, there's the first in here down, there's the second, second in here down. AA going to back out, I suspect. Uh, so Swap, swap going into yellow, yellow. he will. Trouble here. <laughs> yes, Quite Still not dead, wow. And Lumic, look at him just standing there in <laughs> so little health, he will finally Slepper fall down. Slepper drop down now as Slepper well. falls, and uh, Poppy's been farming bottom lane this whole time. Not even trying to record to help his team out. Zenex is going <laughs> suicide, <laughs> Shen ulti's in. Not going to be enough for... no. Corky tanking the tower most that time. He did land at all that time though, yep, so we had props to him there. Molino might drop down here to get stunned off by Moma. Molino does drop down. And Poppy meanwhile, um, just farming bottom. He's going to have a bit of a fight with Soas here. Let's see how it goes. Angus has got no mana. I don't think, oh, does Soas have a damage? Oh, he has a frozen mallet. He yeah. has a frozen mallet and there's no ghost by Angus. on Angus. <laughs> oh, that's painful. Give it the slow death. Yeah, a little bit overkill with a flash. Just watch slow, painful death of Angus. <laughs> I, I would actually just, just watch him. I would. Oh, the W's going down. Sure get, yeah, W's off the the. Uh, ghost the dash in might be enough. Seconds. Actually, I don't. I don't think he's going to die. Oh, can it be close? Is the W back up soon? Is W's back up? He's he's all back up now. Angus jumping oh. back. <laughs> Not quite the best idea. The slow pro goes off. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, These guys are having good fun with each other. And he's still chasing. He might even fall down to the minions. Oh, oh 32 health. Dun, 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 uh, Benny Hill team chain, I think, yep. is what we need here. And uh, Enraged oh, coming wow. in to join the chase. Does Momo <laughs> have ulti? Momo has ulti. Momo comes in to clean up. <laughs> he didn't even cast the car, just came in to... At least so has got the kill. Yep. Well done, <laughs> so really that one Maluno picking up Linux then in the base. One I Nexus turret has fallen during all of that. Two dead inhibs. Still no Baron attempt from against all the three. They really don't need it right now. Infinity Edge on Shivana, Malady on Tarek. Suddenly enjoying themselves. There's yep. no two ways about that. I think we're not the only ones drinking whiskey here. That might explain something as well. Yep, them Frenchies. <laughs> 
I mean, we've seen Soaz very brittle. <laughs> I just thought they were the same team for a minute there. Soaz still just oh, standing yeah, there, letting Yenis get up in and save the day. Soaz not going to drop down, and then he pops the ulti just to laugh some more. <laughs> oh dear. Base team just staring down. Roma hasn't left that room yet, so this is still being dragged out from what we can tell. Maluno ultimately onto Poppy right deep, chasing so down so as down he will fall to Slepper's Poppy Slepper. Oh wow. That shield just the last second. Yellow yeah, Star will pick that kill up. There's the stun from Inrated. Yellow, Yellow will fall down, down however. Angish. Ooh, that life steals hit Bloodthirster almost paid up and not quite. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up a kill in Anguish now. Yeah, we get that one. And Maluno's just gonna run away. He oh. just backwards and forwards. That was that target pick I was talking about. Stun the LeBlanc. Yeah, no matter dashing can get away from a single target click stun. And this suddenly could there's be GG super here. creeps again, yeah. Don't think Shen's going to stop this one. And Linux back with his Infinity Edge. And maybe that Malady down. hammering down on Molino. Flashes just to try and auto attack once more, but <laughs> not get much out of it. There's the second target kill. Linux straight onto the fountain. We'll pay for it with a pulverize to the face. But uh, four super creeps, many minions, and a MoMA, and Malady Tarek is beating into this Nexus. Go on, N rated. <laughs> DPS them down, N rated. Yeah, he's going to just sit there and also attack the Nexus best he can. Go on, N rated. Oh, no, not quite. He drops down. Super creeps getting tanked by all members of AL. Against all authority, are still a long way out. That is three waves of super creeps. And that. Uh, None of them are quite attacking. Slepper's gonna die to minions. Slepper's gonna, Slepper dies to minions. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So as and Yellow yeah, Star still making their way up here as fast as they can. Slow is using Good. his slice and dice. But look at those minions. Anguish trying his best to oh Maluna no, gets the taunt Nexus off. is regenerating. They're tanking it quite well. It's back up to eight hundred health. And uh, extinct and going straight onto Star. Yellow Star. Not yep. quite having the burst. The snare hitting that super creep doesn't really help. And it finishes off, so as Sarah's it finishing up. up. Well done. Against all authority. Quite an interesting final game to watch, that's for sure. They will take home the 2,500 euro top prize.